Hey, CJ, welcome back to RuneScape. Once again, we are showing the Happy Apple Dragon a few more of the uh, things we haven't shown her in RuneScape. One of the first things on the agenda is runecrafting. So, one of the ways to level up runecrafting is the long way and the original way, where you get a bunch of rune essence, go to the rune essence, uh, or the uh, elemental temples, I guess, really. That's what they are, and uh, make them manually. This gives you resources that you can use to sell or use. Um, you have different talismans. You have earth, water, fire, mines, body. The body, and then you have the members ones, which you can't have right now. So, if you right click on the water talisman, you will find the locate button, and that will give you a direction to the um, uh, temple. Yeah. Eventually, they have it memorized. And so, what do you think the temple is? Let me guess. Is that mysterious ruins? Yeah. Click enter. And here we are. We should have unlocked the music track, I believe. What happens if you locate now? What? You're standing. <laughs> if you try to locate now, it says you're standing in the water temple. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just an island in the middle of nowhere. Awesome sounds. And they have Stonehenge, because that's apparently what Stonehenge is for. Makes so much sense. Yes. So now you're just going to craft through an altar, and that should give you the water runes, and an achievement, and levels you up. And it goes all rune essence. I think if you brought a blank tiara and used it on the altar with your water talisman, you can make a water tiara so that you could wear it when you enter the um, the uh, temple instead of having the um, talisman in your inventory. Just helps you get some extra runes. Yeah, if I had a water tiara, I probably could have made a long hundred right there. I got thirty. I made ninety-seven, but I had a full inventory except for the water talisman. Alright, what, what room copying did you have? 50. 50? Okay. So that was one of the achievements. The other one was the uh, one you were mentioning. Another way to level up rune crafting is to go to the rune essence. Um, rune span. Rune span. Yeah, that's the name of it. Thanks. So follow us. We're going to the wizard tower top floor. Actually, don't follow us. I just told you exactly where we're going. So You should know how to get there. Yeah, you've been there. If you don't remember how to get there, then I'm a little bit concerned. Alright, so here we are at the top of the tower. You notice that there's three portals. Some of them, um, I don't know where they lead to. The only one I do know where it leads to is the lower level rune span portal. The green one all the way on the left. So let's go into that one. I don't know if we need to talk to this guy about it. We don't. Okay, great. You didn't talk to anyone whatsoever. Awesome. So you just get started on it right away. This is the faster way of leveling up rune crafting. It doesn't give you any resources, but it saves time, so that's what you want to do. So you have uh, different creatures. Um, you need to grab some essence from the floating essence over here, though, I believe. Yes. And then after that, I don't think you have to ever use this floating essence ever again. Um, unless you forget to do it from some of the Ethlings every now and then, and then you fail. Yeah. And then you gotta get more. But I think overall it's pretty easy. So you're gonna, I'm gonna siphon here from the air easing, and that should give me air talismans, I believe. Uh, air. Air runes. Yeah. Air runes. Sorry. There you go. And so then, as you notice, it'll deplete your, your uh, whatever those things are. Renaissance. Renaissances. Uh, you get more from doing either the thing we just did, or if you go to these creatures, they'll, when they die. Um, yeah, when they, they die, they should give you some, right? Yeah, exactly. You can also chip them off, right? Or what does that do? I remember. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Did that give you something? Let me chip off this very scene. It's so much faster. It didn't do anything. All right, but anyway, yeah, as long as you're siphoning, you should be fine. Now you need these runes to move on to other platforms. Yep. So, for example, over here where I am, there's an ice platform. I need water and air. I have the air barely, but not too much of the water. I was going to say forever. Uh, you can go up to a higher level eventually. I think you have to work your way over there. You it's can't members. just like teleport. Oh, it's members? Yeah. Well, when you're a member, you can uh, work your way over there. I don't think you can go instantly there, though. You have to like work your way there. You have all the different elements. And in the next one, there's like other ones too, like chaos, law. Yeah. Um, 
So it gets like more complex as you go up. Here it's basic. Of course, I rarely have any uh, room crafting anyway, so. I'm assuming you're getting these things much more quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still struggling over here. I could just now do Earth Eastling, so. You probably can't even do this firestorm that I'm trying to do right now. Yeah. Oh, occasionally there'll be wizards um, in need of help. For example, there's one near American Donut Wizard. Um, I think they need certain resources, and you give them to them, they give you like XP or something. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to ring crafting. I don't know if you can trade these things with each other. I imagine not. <coughs> no. So you can't really like help other people. Um, I think you do get stuff. So you turn in all these things when you leave, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. And then they, what What rewards can we get? I'm not sure. I think there's like related to this, though. Like it helps you increase your XP or something. Oh, really? Hmm. If I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I never got this up either. Air Rune Crafting Gloves. Okay, don't know what that is, but I assume it's good. I'm at level 10. Totally going to defeat American Donut Wizard one day. In room crafting. So I keep getting more and more um, essence. Is there any way to reduce that? I'm just curious. Besides the siphoning. Yeah, I mean, that's all there is. Because when you do like this, because the, the essence don't give you as much XP as like the bigger things like the fireballs or the water pools do. So usually I try, usually you want to be doing it from the, uh, like the earth rock, the rock fragments or the fireball sort of things because those give you a ton of XP. Um, but they don't give you any rune essences. So mm, you eventually okay. run out of rune essences if you're just getting those, and that's happened to me a few times. Okay, so right now this mindstorm probably shouldn't give me any uh, rune essence. Yeah. But I, since I've been doing the Eastlings, um, I think that's how you spell it. Eastling? Essling? Essling is probably how they want to pronounce it. Uh, it was giving me a bunch of runes. Like, I have over 300 now, so that should be good. But we're not going to stay here for that long, because I'm sure people don't want to sit here watching us level up uh, rune crafting. Not the most exciting thing in the world. Well, I get two air runes per essence, so that's great. Um, can't really show you construction that well. It's basically related to the um, houses, which you get as members, although apparently it might be able to look at three players. We can look into that. I don't know if I can afford it, but we can look into it. Um, basically, you just create stuff for your home. Uh, Slayer, we talked about. Hunter, we talked about. Divination, we talked about. Thieving, we talked about. Agility talked we talked about, about everything about. except uh, summoning, I think. Summoning, uh, farmer, farming, and the potion creation. Alright, so we'll cut out of this and we'll go to uh, Talbury, I guess. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you is summoning. So you see this obelisk here that's in the middle of the, well not quite in the middle, uh, just towards the end of the shop. Yeah. You gotta click on it infuse so here you have your different um pouch options we have all the materials for uh spirit wolf um you can also look through the different options you have green charms which we can't do because it's members crimson charms members blue charms as they get uh progressively so gold is like the lower tire stuff green is the next crimson then blue i guess elder is even higher than that as you get higher i think the materials get more and more um you need more and more materials, basically. So, like, for example, the simplest blue um, summoning thing is a Nightmare Mishposh pouch. It requires 150 energy. Okay, that's not a good example because there's no charms. Okay. Oh, that's Elder. Okay, sorry. Blue. It's Albino Rat. It requires 75 shards. Whereas the basic... Um, gold charm one, the spirit wolf, it's only required the seven charms that we get for free from the sample shop. So just go ahead and click create. It should give you some XP unless you max it out at level five. Yeah, which we have. <laughs> Alternatively, you could also yeah. renew your points here at the obelisk if you have uh, less summoning uh, points. Uh, you could summon the, if we did wolf whistle, you would click on the uh, pouch and you could summon the uh, wolf. It can fight alongside you, or sometimes there's like scaling ones, they can like recarry your stuff. We don't have any of that, so at level 5, uh, free players. So we don't, can't really see the uh, full skill, but it just gives us a basic idea. 
you can get pouches. Um, you can also turn them into scrolls. So you click on the pouch again, or the ob obelisk again, sorry. Now I have a new menu for the uh, scrolls. So you can um, make NPCs flee for a short time. So that's its ability, interesting. Basically some of the creatures have special abilities and you can use the scrolls to activate them. I've never quite figured it out myself, but you use the scrolls or something on the creatures. Yeah. The cat is digging in the middle of her cat tree, okay. And I think we can sell the scrolls to pick up sticks, maybe. Yeah, we can, okay. I'm gonna sell them. I think I'm probably selling in Grand Exchange, too. And then the other thing we have is, um... Herblore. Herblore, yeah. Or Herbivore, as I call it. So you have the uh, Grammy Guan, the Water, and the Eye of Nuge. So you can clean the Guam. It gives you XP if you didn't have it maxed out. And you can use it on the Vile of Water, the clean one now. And that creates a um, Guam potion. And then from there you can add different ingredients that have different effects. Uh, we're level 5, so you probably don't have, or I don't know what your level is, but... Probably level 4. 4, okay. So you get, we'll get XP. You just use the Eye of Newt on the Guam potion. And you'll create an attack potion. Uh, Satric diminished by 1 point for a minute. What? Other uh, diminished by 1 point per minute. So basically you can increase your attack with this by 1 point by drinking that potion. Okay. And you get 3 uses out of it. Yep. There's other potions too that are more helpful. Uh, for example, anti-poison potion. Very helpful to members. Not too much for free players because we don't have poison. I forget what else there was. Prayer Restore, I think, was another one. Yep. Um, I don't think they heal at all, but you could um, have Strength, Defense, I think Range, Magic. Yep. I don't really use it that often, so I don't know. And by that often, I mean, like, when I had membership for, like, a day. Sample day. And Kitty, yes. But it's there. I use Summoning more often, because that's helpful when you get to higher levels. The Spirit Wolf is, like, a level 1 or 5 or something. But as you get higher level in summoning, you can summon higher level creatures and they have uh, better stats. Alright, and then the last thing is farmer. So we're going to come over. This one I'm not too sure about how to show you. Back to where we teleported, I'll show you. Okay, yeah, you're better off talking about explaining this skill. Actually, not quite to where we teleported. I'm actually going there. So I think picking, picking the uh, flags helped level it up, but that wasn't that great. There's a far head farmer Jones here. Hey, so you've seen these uh, patches before, right? Yeah. Notice them? They're scattered around. Um, usually there's someone nearby. Um, I don't think you can always trade at them, but this guy, we can. Yeah, so sure I think we can. need to get seeds. Yeah. yeah, get the potato seeds, and I think we have everything else we need. Yeah, that's an achievement, apparently. They also have um, plant cure potions. In case your plants are dying, you can cure them. Yes. Um, some buckets. One, actually, some have compost. Okay, watering cans. Do we need... I don't think we need a watering can. So the easiest way I usually just try to do it is just to rake leaves. Rake the weeds away. Yeah, that gives you some XP. I already have it maxed out, so I can't level it up. But then you can also... Then plant seeds. Uh, you can also water them. This guy waters the plants for free, which is why I like this guy. Um, you can also pay people to water them to you, which is why I like this guy, because you don't have to pay him. Um, and then you can take these weeds and put them in the compost bin, and you can get compost later when it fills up to, like, 15. Um, and that'll give you farming XP as well. And then you can sell the compost or use it sometimes. And, and then after, like, 15 minutes, every so often you can pick whatever you harvested and you can harvest it. I think different foods have different um, requirements. Like for example, carrots might grow like in five minutes or something and then like potatoes grow in like 20 minutes. This is not the right time, but it's different times. And people can look after you for like certain things. Like for example, let's say the leprechaun wants 20 tomatoes to look after your tree there. Yes. So you have to get him like the 20 tomatoes for him to look after it for you. Or you can like maintain it yourself. That's really like micromanaging and in the wing, so wouldn't recommend it. So not the most exciting skill. Yeah. 
And this portal over here, which you may have noticed, is the portal to the house, which we're not sure if we can get. Okay, you're still doing that. That's what you needed. I don't have any water cans. If you had a water can, you could have gardened. You could have watered it. But that Wait. guy waters them for free, so you don't need to worry about it. Wait, do we have to tell him to look after it? No, he just doesn't have anything. What do you okay. got here? He's also voiced, interestingly enough. Yep. And All right. That's pretty much everything you need to know. Nice. All right. And that just leaves construction, I believe. Yeah, we're going to talk about thieving. I think there's other things for thieving besides pickpocketing, but I have not found that. Usually I just do the thieving build and then the stalls. Yeah. Which comes after a quest, so we'll explain that once we eventually do that. So, uh, did you look at the portal, see if we can do anything about that? I think it just says travel. Alright, I'm going to pause recording. Okay, so we may actually be able to get houses, and it may not matter who you talk to. So we're going to talk to the seed agent in Faldor. Well, Hello, I'm in Barak. Yeah, he's in Barak, for the record. Hello, welcome to Gilinor Housing Agency. What can I do for you? Can I get a house? Uh, it's only 1,000 coins. So yeah. Go ahead and buy it, sure. Thank you. Go through the Remington House Portal, and you will find your house ready for you to start building in. The book will help you start building your house. All right. So unfortunately, we can't teleport to Remington, so we got to run there. All right, uh, so the American Donut Wizard is having a little bit of issues on his end. I'm just going to go ahead and go into the portal and see what goes horribly wrong. Oh, maybe I have to buy planks. Oh, wait, that came up with something. Uh, go to your house. Okay, so it comes with its own... Empty. Yes, yeah. It's completely empty. You can your house too, if you want. Uh, I think toggle building, maybe? Oops. Okay, that gives you to, um, the creation mode. Which I don't think I can do anything because I don't have any materials at all. Do you have any nails? I have nothing. Okay, lovely. Yeah. So eventually we could like sink money into this and whatnot. I maybe. guess it is a prefixed layout though. Or maybe it just depends on the rooms. Like I guess we if I build the door. Okay, yeah, I can build different rooms. Right now it's just garden. Okay, I can pay money for that. Uh, I already have a parlor, so let me build the kitchen. Oh, you can determine the angle? Okay. Um, Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise again. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Build. And take some of your money. Alright, we only have two building rooms. That's good enough for today. You can also visit your friends' houses. Sure. It's gonna look exactly the same because we basically have nothing. It's true. And I think you need that material on you, alright. So it's telling me to... You are not... Okay, we need to carry logs. There, now let me buy planks. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So if you have logs, you can... Um, on you, you can buy planks for gold. Yeah, so it's like different types of planks. So you have the regular planks, you have oak planks, you have teak, you have mahogany. Unfortunately, mahogany and teak we can't access. And I think it doesn't matter for oak because um, we don't have the high enough crafting or um, construction to do that. So. so you can only use the other planks. Yeah. At level 5, I'm surprised I'm surprised this was actually a feature for free players. I thought this was exclusive for members. Same. So we could have got them started. That has to start. Although we won't be getting any XP as we do it, so it may be better not to do it at all. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just a thing that you could do if you were so inclined. All right, and then the last thing I want to show you is the smithing. So let's go ahead and pause. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to um, upgrade your stuff. So you go into the regular interface, you'll notice that um, 
So you have the long sword, right? You can click on the uh, Mithril long sword in the um, smithing section. Did you find it? Should be the second one in the weapon section. All right, so there, so yeah, once you, um, you notice, once you find it, that you have base one and two. For <coughs> adamant and rune, you have also one, two, and three. So you're going to click on one. I don't have any mithril things other than a hatchet, apparently. But so you only have one, two, three. So um, if you had, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and create an item. You have to go to base for item. I'm going to create a medium helmet. Or full home. Okay, so once you have the mithril item, you're going to. This is basically like a tutorial for anyone who doesn't know how to do it. Um, you're going to go back to the menu. So now you have the plus one. So you click on that, click on the item. Or. I guess I already had the item. So you can click plus one and just begin the project. So now you're going to make a um, plus one helmet. You can't equip. You can't upgrade anything you have equipped. And um, you need the previous item in order to make the current one. So right now I'm making a plus one. I need the base to make it. You can't just skip straight to the uh, plus one. And in order to make a plus two, you need a plus one. And to make a plus two, you need, or plus three, you need a plus two. So and as they get um, higher and up, you need more resources to upgrade it. So I think this one just took two to upgrade. The next upgrade should take four. I think something like that. You can look at the actual requirements. I can look at that too in a moment. And just like creating the item, you have heat, so as the heat goes down, it'll be harder, it'll take longer to um, make the item. So let's see the plus three, I can't make it now, or the plus two. Yeah, it requires four mithril bars, and a mithril helmet plus one. And it takes longer and longer to make it, I believe. I guess some things they can't upgrade to plus one. No, I don't have any mithril bars, so I can't look at anything else. Um, yeah, so mithril items, again, let me go up to plus two. Adamant and rune, plus three. I don't think the steel can go plus one, so that's unfortunate. I don't know if I really ever explained this either, other than the artisan's workshop. Okay. And I think you can't, yeah, you can't do uh, plus one throwing X's, that'd be too much work for it anyway. So I think it kind of leaves um, ranged and magic at a disadvantage because she can get uh, more, uh, Dang. Uh, I should say, better equipment, stronger equipment. No, we can. We can't upgrade ours. That may be something they change in the future, or maybe they'll make it so that the base stuff is um, weaker than the normal stuff. But I don't know. It's really up to them how they balance their game. And us to complain about it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So that takes care of that. Um, yeah, you want a plus one helmet? <laughs> Alright, uh, there's still one more thing we're going to show you that is not related to skills at all. So now we're going to show you whatever this thing's called the Stronghold of Player Safety or something. We got to use this jail entrance, I believe, to get down there. Yep. Um, you can examine the jail door to see why these creatures are in these jails. Or maybe not. I thought it told us why. Alright, um... I th Here? Upstairs? Wait, was there something upstairs? Yeah. Okay, let's go up the stairs. I thought we might have gotten something from this. I could be mistaken, though. Here, how do you go upstairs? Oh, here. Gotta talk to the Professor Harry? Henry? Hello. Good day. Do you want to know about the old jail block? Always need adventurers to keep the cockroaches in check. Do I need to do your exam? No, the exam isn't really for adventurers like you. Are you looking for the jail block? Okay. Um, okay. I guess he just gives you directions. Alright, I thought they gave you a quiz and free stuff, but I guess not. That was a complete waste of time. So yeah, we're just gonna go into the jail block. Oh, this guard too. Alright, anyway. 
You notice that one of these cells is not the same thing in it. Shell blank. Oops. <laughs> Alright, and you'll notice there's a poster. You're gonna pull back the poster and go to the other side. There appears to be a tunnel behind the poster. Oh, buggers. Hi. They're not attacking us. Forgot about them. Yeah, we were weak. We would be dead right now. Right. So, apparently, on the other side of the jail cover, they have muggers. I'm not going to question the logic behind this, but... Or the jail poster. They have their own little cells here. Like, what is this place? Like, some kind of abandoned, like, correctional facility or something? Never down, man. Alright, so we're going to work our way through here. Yeah, apparently the cockroaches have taken over the rest of it. I haven't seen any cockroaches yet. Level 4 is a mugger. I'll just pass them. Yeah, they are. Level four These are not Dang. too bad. I think we either got to kill the stronger one. I don't know if he dropped Carpus. Let's find out. Carpus is range equipment, which I kind of need. They dropped a water room. So the answer's not. Probably not, unless it's like a it's not guaranteed drop. Here's cockroach soldiers, level twenty thirty six. All right, so these are the weak cockroaches. We need these stronger ones. Oh, okay. Me this way. And you notice they get bigger. So those are just like... Those are bigger than normal cockroaches. This space is a lot stronger. Like, uh, okay, what normal is this? 30? I don't think anything will automatically attack us. Yeah, let's see what these things drop. So we have bigger roaches. As if these weren't big enough. Nope. Nothing? Alright, so we gotta kill the soldiers, I guess. I see two up ahead. Purpose. From the worker or the soldier? Uh, soldier. Okay. I think so the bigger ones used to be like level 80 or something, but they nerfed them so they're not. That's sad. I mean, these things look like they should be level 80, right? What? These things totally look like they should be level 80, right? I mean, they are kind of scary, especially... Um, you would not want to fight... A cockroach this big. We're seeing a cockroach this big in real life. I don't think they're automatically attacking us. It could be completely mistaken. Oh yeah, carpus dice. Need that. Well, there's something else we need to find in here. I believe we need to go down. Is this door? Yeah, to the door. Wait, the door or the... Yeah, I think the door. The ladder. Door. The ladder just goes up to the next level. Wait, is it next level? So let me go through Oh, door. we need to climb up the next level so we can open the lever. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we can climb up here. Uh, levers over here. Yeah, sure, let's fight our way there. Though we're probably gonna have a difficult time killing them. Where's the lever? In this room. Alright, so just gonna pull that lever and grab my ammo back. And also pick up any of the carpets for him. Yeah, I need that. Now we can go down the stairs. After you pull the lever. Was it possible? Yeah, yeah, we have to pull it. It's only for us. Your character, I should say. <laughs> so the soldiers had the better drops. Oop. Okay, I'll fight this one while you guys. Come down. Good. Wait a minute. Chainsaw. How'd I heal? I'm sorry. Is there, a there isn't a coverage. Mm, no, I don't remember that being the case. And then there should be a chest, yep, right there. Open treasure chest. Oh, we'll fight out the way there. Hmm. 
Right, let me just come around the wall and open the treasure chest. You open the chest to find a large pile of gold along with a pair of uh, safety gloves and two antique lamps. Also, the chest is a secret of the safety first emote. Or something like that. I'm just going to put my points into... I need to bring up everything basically to catch up to you guys. Go HP. Alright. And let me see what else there was we were going to show you if there was anything else. So there's only two things we didn't talk about. Uh, we didn't show you Karajama, which, um, or Kara, Karajama, or how do you pronounce it? Karajama? That's how I think it's pronounced. That's how we're going to pronounce it. Um, that we'll show you um, later on during a quest. The only other thing we haven't talked about is invention. It's elite skill, requires a smithing, crafting, and divination. So we've never done it before, basically. So we know nothing about it either. Yeah. And I don't know if we ever will. <laughs> Maybe one day. Go to look up videos, but... Oh, one last thing, though, actually. Uh, you don't need the safety gloves. They're basically useless. So uh, go ahead and destroy them. Yeah, I did that already. Yeah, I did do that. So let me do that now, and now I'm out of inventory space. But wait. We got a cool emote from this. Oh, yes. You gotta show that off. Okay. Of course. Um, emotes. So please got a shield. Magic shield that just appears out of nowhere. Also, we got the explorer emote from earlier. And... I think that's it. Oh, we could do the... Um, random event emotes. It's a place in Verrock where we buy some clothing and then that gives us the emotes. Really? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's talk about that then real quick. Go to Verrock. Oh, we need inventory space. Let me go ahead and pause the recording. So there we go. There's my carpus armor. I hid the uh, helmet because it looked disgusting. Um, I didn't like it look. So the costumes you come with three emotes. You basically buy the emotes. Um, info, I think it tells you. Yeah, unlocks the mining emote. Does this show draw, Sergeant? Nope. Okay, examine what? Oh, she is silly. Okay, it tells you the description too, which is interesting. Yeah, that is pretty expensive though. For basically just buying an emote, unless you want to dress up as a mime, a zombie, um, in later hosen. I mean, it is a later hosen. It is hard to hard to resist. Or camo, or frog prince thing, which I think actually for Happy Apple Dragon might be different. Yeah, I think it's like a prince. Yeah, so. And then last thing on the agenda, apparently we might have the next Explorer Ring unlocked. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, I have uh, most of the achievements, all the easy achievements done. Just that medium and hard remaining. Now let's get that next uh, level Explorer Ring. Uh, talk about the task system. Explorer Ring. And XP then. I was talking about low alchemy, so you can use that to um, get free money from stuff you can't sell. Oh, uh, if you decide to do some rune crafting, when then the ring, wearing this ring will give you a chance of getting extra runes for crafting fire, earth, air, or water runes. I don't think we can use that to um, get that other achievement though, right? What? So it talks about we can get extra runes from this ring. Yeah, I think we might be able to. I'll tell you, adventurers these days are spoiled rotten. Why in my day, mumble dragons, mumble bare hands. Um, oh, sorry, I got a little distracted there. Now as an extra reward, I give you a magical lamp to help out with your skills. Thanks very much. What happens if I lose the ring? new ring? Well, I would hope that you would put in a bit more pride in your possessions than that. If you lose it, come back to me and I'll give you another one. Anything else? Just leaving. All right. So the new ring it gives us a little bit more bonuses and Back. Okay, go south. Okay, find it. The new ring gives us better new bonuses and uh, low alchemy run punish. So I think we get more run punishes and some low yes. alchemy. So yeah, that's about basically it.
All right, if you like this episode, stay tuned for the next one. I'm TJ, and joining me was Happy Apple Dragon. Yes. And American Donut Wizard. Confirmed. All right, we'll see you next time. Later.